Welcome back to Medrash Maisa, sharing a story for this week's Parsha, Parsha's Miketz. Rav Moshe Avram was the father of the son of Rebbe, the Nesiv Sholem, and he once traveled on a train in Russia, and a man approached him. He was a Russian officer with a lot of medals, and he was very big, very strong-looking, and he said to Rav Moshe Avram, he says, I'd like you to hear a story. I'm older than 80 years. I'm more than 80 years old. And I'm as strong as I was when I was young. He kicked the side of the train just to show him how he could make the train shake with his kick. So this officer told him, he said, here's the story of how I got my strength. He said, back when I was younger, I was a guard in one of the Tsar's prisons, Tsar Nikolai. And there, he said, the Rabin Friedman, which means the Heilige Rizhner, the Rizhner Rebbe, Rabbi Yisrael of Rizhn, who was imprisoned for quite a period of time by the Tsar Nikolai, was there. So the Rabin Friedman called him over and told him the following. He said, could you let me out of my cell for two hours? He said, why? He says, there's something called Kiddush Levana, a special bracha that we say on the new moon. I need to do that, right? Could you let me out? Now, the man was very frightened. He says, but, you know, if you're caught, I will be killed. And he says, it's toward the end of the watch, and soon another guard is going to come. And if he comes and you're not in the cell, then we're going to be in big trouble, both me and you. The originator told him, he gave him his promise that he has nothing to worry about. The guard let him out, and the prisoner disappeared. The guard looked in the courtyard of the prison. He couldn't find him. He looked throughout. He couldn't find him. He was sweating bullets, and because he was afraid of the bullets. He didn't know what would happen to him when it was discovered that the prisoner wasn't there. After two hours, he said, he saw like a flash of flame, and the prisoner appeared. And the Rizhner said, the time has gone by, I'll go back into my cell. A little bit after that, the guard who was to replace him came running in, huffing and puffing. He said, I'm sorry that I'm so late. He said, I was meant to be here long ago, but different things kept coming up and delaying me all the time, so I wasn't able to change the shift on time. The officer said that he knew that somehow this was the doings of the Rizhner to enable him to say his Kiddush Levona in the way and the manner that he wanted to. And he concluded by saying to Rav Moshe Avram, he said, you should know that Rabin Friedman, he said, was not a human being. He said he was a malach, he was an angel. That was the way he saw it. In Parshas Miketz, we see that when the moment comes for a person to come out of prison, that's the time. The moment that comes for a person to go into prison, Hashem decides that as well. We have to realize that not the guard who holds the gate, not those, and again, hopefully those who hold our captives will be forced from above using any means possible to let them go safe and sound. And we should be able to say Kiddush Levana and do all the things that we should be able to do with great simcha, and say and sing Tovim Ma'aru Shabara Lokeinu together as one as uh, we approach the new week. Wishing everyone a wonderful Shabbos, Kol Tuv.